Hi, I'm Natalie and we're here in the Children's Zoo. This is the farm section of the Children's Zoo and we're here with Winston. He's our Juliana pig. So right now Winston is rooting around trying to find all the good stuff that is hidden in his puzzle feeder. Winston is seven years old now. So he's not super old, but he's like middle-aged for a pig. But pigs are very smart, so he gets a ton of enrichment every day just to help keep his brain going and keep him from getting bored. So right now Winston's playing with his puzzle feeder, but he does have a dig box over here that was made just for him. It's got his name on and everything. And that's where we put a lot of his enrichment so that he can dig and root like a normal pig. So pigs are a lot like people. They express a lot of emotion and they're very smart just like people. So Winston likes to spend a lot of time with his keepers. So he's very attached to the three of us that take care of him regularly. Winston. That's his favorite toy. So he'll probably play with that one the most. So just like a kid, he's got a lot of favorite toys that he will choose over other toys no matter what. <laughs> so you can see him pushing it around with his nose. Pigs actually have special muscles in their nose that is specifically for rooting. Um, it's kind of like digging, but with your nose, so it's a little lighter. It helps them to find certain foods out in the wild. So Winston's pretty uh, small for a pig. Uh, Julian pigs are actually kind of a smaller breed pig. So he weighs, ooh, he weighs uh, about 75 pounds. So not too big. He's got a lot of muscle, especially in his hips that he uses uh, for walking around. He's got a lot of muscle in his shoulders where he digs. So you'll see him get in his box now. His box was specifically built for him to dig and root in, which he does when there's food in there, but he also likes to nap in it. It's one of his favorite sleeping spots. So we try to make it fairly difficult for him since he's so smart. So he's got a lot of food hidden in there underneath things. Um, his egg has some food in it and he does have to spend a little bit of time breaking that open. But his egg has his favorite food in, which is banana. So Donna asked, what does he eat? So right now he's eating a whole bunch of different produce. Um, his favorites are apple, carrot, and sweet potato. But he also likes banana. That's his favorite little treat. He doesn't get that regularly because it's got a lot of sugar in it, but it's like a nice little sweet treat when he's <laughs> got a special event or when he's being really good. So he gets a lot of banana on like his birthday and stuff. So he also gets a mini pig diet, which is like a little grain. It kind of looks a little bit like what your dog food would look like. And it's got all the nutrients and all the things that he needs. But pigs in general are omnivores, so he'll eat a little bit of produce and a little bit of protein, and that keeps him good and healthy. So you can see he can lift most things with just his nose, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> so even when the food's gone, he likes to play with the toys, so he kicks them around his yard until they're out of his box and he can nap in his box. So wild and domestic pigs are a little bit different, but not too different. Um, the wild boars that we have in Texas are very big. Um, they also tend to have larger tusks and are a little bit more aggressive and defensive of their areas. Um, domesticated pigs are very social and they like to be around people. They're not typically aggressive unless they're given a reason to be aggressive. Um, like I said, Winston really loves all of us. So he doesn't really have a whole lot of aggression every now and then. He gets a little grumpy because he's pretty much the equivalent of a toddler. So just like toddlers, so tantrums, so does Winston every now and then. All right. It looks like he's finished most of that food. He does have some hay in there too because that is what he likes to bed in. That's what he sleeps in. So we're going to go on over and see our sheep. His name is Levi. <laughs> Bye, buddy. 
so so Levi's very smart he knows lots of behaviors sheep are actually very intelligent and they have great memories so one of the coolest things that I like about sheep is that they uh, can remember up to 50 faces and that includes people and animals and differentiate between them and like if they really like you they won't bother you or they'll come up and look for pets if they don't like you then obviously they defend their area hi bunny come on come here can you target good boy all right come on good boy so Levi is a Jacob's four horned sheep. So you can see on his head, he's got four horns. Jacob's four horns can have up to six horns, but Levi was not that lucky. He only got the four. It tends to be the larger males that get six horns. And he's not quite that big. Um, he weighs about, I think about 150, 200 pounds. So he's not too big. So they're one of the cooler breeds in my opinion. Um, Warhorn sheep originated from the Middle East, and then they were domesticated. They no longer exist in the wild, but we have lots of different ones. Um, Jacob's sheep are actually considered very rare, and that's what Levi is. Hey. Can you circle? Good boy. So if you look at his eyes, come here. Can you try again? He's got rectangular shaped pupils. And that's actually a really special adaptation for goats and sheep um, because they're prey animals and they get eaten by a lot of big things. I know, but you got your horn stuck. They have to be able to see all the way around them. And so they can see actually almost 320 degrees around them. So whereas we can only see to about the side of our head, Levi can actually see almost all the way behind him. So Alejandra asked, how old is he? Levi is fairly old. He's about 10 years old now. He turned 10 in February. Can you back up? Good boy. They have a fairly long lifespan. Um, most Jacob sheep live to be about 15 to 18 years. Can you circle? Good boy. Sheep actually have very similar vision to people, so they can differentiate a lot of colors. So right now, Levi is learning some of his colors. He's not quite got it down yet, but he's getting there. He knows yellow. We're working on blue. Can you spin? Good boy. All right, you go around. Good boy. So like all goats and sheep, he does have hooves that we have to trim regularly. So that's one of the things that we work on a lot with him is making sure that he's very comfortable with us trimming his hooves. We also have to shear Levi. As you can see, he's already got a lot of wool back on him. Um, he's got probably about two or three inches of growth already, and he was sheared like two months ago. So they grow pretty fast. Um, by the time we shear him again next year, we usually can end up taking about a foot of growth off. So that makes them really good for wool growth. Um, they're used a lot in production of wool. Can you spin? Good boy. So Levi's got a lot of different foods in here. Um, he's not very picky. He likes all the foods. Um, he does have a sheep grain that's really nice. And he's got some carrot and some apple. And he really likes lettuce. So Rob asked, do the animals miss the people? So it really kind of depends on the animals. A lot of our animals do really miss people. Um, Levi certainly misses them. We can definitely tell. He likes to people watch. He doesn't so much like to be pet, but he loves when people come and just adore him. So he spends a lot of time watching people and he hasn't gotten to do that a whole lot lately. But we come and see him every day just to keep up with his little socialization. All right, we're gonna give him some special treats since it's a special day. This is his favorite. He also loves banana. Can come here and back up. <laughs> All right. Hi, ladybug. Hi. 
So we're gonna move over to Miss Fiesta. She is the queen of the yard. Now we do have some enrichment for her. She really likes puzzle feeders. She doesn't like anything that she can't roll because she's got a, <laughs> a big nose for a reason that helps her move things around. Here's a bug. So we'll let her play with that. Fiesta also loves her hay. She gets a lot of hay every day, but she also tries to steal it from her roommates. So she'll probably pull all the hay out first. That's her favorite thing to do. Yeah. Hi. So sometimes she likes enrichment better and sometimes she prefers her food. So you guys can come and look at her. Good girl. So you can see, now that you can see her face, she's got some really long, pretty eyelashes. That's to help keep all the dirt and sand out of her eyes. So llamas are originally from uh, South America and they live up in the mountain regions where there's lots of wind and lots of sand that blows into their eyes. So her eyelashes help keep all of that out. It also helps clean them when they are dirty. Okay. And you can see on her feet, she's got two specific toes. And that helps her climb in the mountains. That's why llamas were one of the best animals to produce in the mountains because they were able to climb up and deliver loads. So Fiesta weighs about 250 pounds and most llamas can carry about 30% of their weight. So she'd be able to carry about 75 pounds up the mountain. They don't usually carry people though. So Donna asked how old is Miss Fiesta? She is seven as well. So we've had her since she was a baby. So we've had her a long time and she likes it a lot here. She gets free food every day. It's her favorite thing. So she gets a little bit of grain. She gets, um, she also gets apple, carrots. She loves bananas. And recently we found out she really loves oranges. So sometimes she gets a little orange juice in the morning with her breakfast. So a lot of people confuse llamas and alpacas. There's a really good way to tell the difference between them. Llamas are much bigger. They're typically about 100 pounds larger, if not more. Um, she also has really big ears that are kind of rounded. So llamas always have very large rounded ears. It helps them hear lots of things when they're up in the mountains. Um, it's not very flat, so it's a little harder to hear. Alpacas have very short pointed ears and they have fur all over their faces. So we also shear Fiesta every year. And Fiesta did really good this year. She let us shear her whole body. We just left her little mohawk because it gives her a little extra style. And so we do have to shear her at least once a year. It does get pretty hot in Texas and we don't want her to get too hot. And if she didn't get sheared, it would continually grow until it hit the floor. And we don't want that. So we shear her once a year. Uh, she was also sheared about the same time as Levi. Her hair doesn't grow quite as fast as Levi's though. They're not typically used for their wool production, just mainly for distributing goods and traveling up mountains. So a cool thing about all of the kiddos in here is they don't have any upper incisors. So they have the incisors on the bottom right in the front and then the top they have a very hard plate. So they actually don't bite into things and chew like we do. They crunch it up against the hard plate on the top of their mouth. So one of the best things that llamas have is their sense of smell. So she can actually smell really well. Fiesta gives kisses to guests and that's actually the, her way of greeting people. She smells them. Hannah asked if llamas and camels are related. They are, they're actually in the same group. So they're all in a family called the camelids. And that includes llamas and alpacas and camels and a couple other wild species. So she really likes the balls because every time she rolls them, food comes out. <laughs> and that's Fiesta's favorite thing is to eat. <laughs> so Fiesta is quite the diva. She likes only a couple of people and then the rest of the people, she just kind of decides later if she's gonna tolerate them or not. But she loves her keepers. All right, so we've got one more kiddo over here. His name is Zamir. He's our biggest kiddo. Hi, can you come over here? Come on, target. 
Good boy. So the mirror is about 600 pounds. Ooh. What did you do to your gate? I'm gonna go in the back gate. He locked that one on me. Hi. He's very food motivated, so he typically follows us around whenever he wants to eat. So I do have some of his food in my pocket for him. You can come to our <laughs> Good. He's also very smart, so he knows quite a few behaviors. He's a little bit older. He's 15. So he, he's known a lot because he's had a long time to learn a lot of things. Let me see if you'll do it. Can you look? He does love the attention though, so sometimes people are distracting for him. Hi. Good boy. So you can see he's got pretty big horns. It's for defense. He's from, um, originally they're from the South Asia area. Um, there's lots of predators there, so he's got to have a good defense system. Good. So his horns help keep him really safe. They're very strong and sturdy. So horns, unlike antlers, don't fall off every year. So antlers on like deer and things like that would fall off yearly. Um, horns don't fall off yearly. They grow with them for their whole life. So they do have a little sheen on it that does shed off, but it doesn't actually fall off every year. And they're made out of the same thing that your fingernails are made out of. It's called keratin. So even more than food, Zamir's favorite thing is scratches. He loves to be pet. So Zamir is definitely missing people being here to pet him, but he does get lots of guests, lots of uh, employees stop by to pet him. Our housekeeping department says hi to him every morning before we even get here. So you can see on Zamir, he's got this big hump on his back right here. This isn't quite as big now that he's a little older, but it's still pretty big. It's the same function as camels, so it stores a little bit extra fat in it in case that they can't get food or anything like that when they're out in the wild. Hey, honey, can you back up? Good boy. Hey, can you come target? So he's also got very large ears for a cow of his size. You can see them back here. Can you touch? and they're to help keep the flies off of his face. So you'll see every now and then he'll kind of swing them forward a little bit. It helps keep the flies away from his eyes. And because he's a white animal, he does have a little bit more trouble with flies. Um, for some reason, flies are very attracted to white animals. So we put a special, hi, kind of like you guys have insect spray, we put a little bit on his legs too. Hi. Can you circle? Circle. Good boy. Come on. So Zamir has some special enrichment. It's his favorite, but the easiest thing to bring out. Come on. He has some dirt out here, and that's his favorite thing to play with. Ready? So he likes to play in the dirt a lot. <laughs> He's very easy to please. Hay and dirt, that's all he cares about. So he'll play in the dirt a little bit and then we'll give him some hay. So this is actually how they stay cool in the wild. Um, so like I said, they're from South Asia and it gets very hot there, kind of like here. Um, so being in the dirt helps him cool off a little bit. Uh, kind of like elephants, if you've ever seen elephants, spray dirt and mud on their back. Um, it helps keep them really cool. Come on, Samir. You want to come on this side? He's used to both the gates being open, so he makes very big circles. You want your hay ball? Danielle can put your hay ball in. Here, come here. Target. Good boy. So we like to give Zamir has hay and special pieces of enrichment just to keep his mind going a little bit. He loves hay. He gets a lot of it. So he's like every other cow. They have four stomachs and they do need to keep it constantly filled in order to digest things properly. 
So he eats hay all day. He gets a lot of it. He gets about 4,000 kilos a day, which is close to 10 pounds of hay. He also has a very, very long tongue and that helps keep his nose clean. So cows have a special bacteria on their nose that actually keeps infection from coming in and it keeps his nose clean. Um, so in the saliva in his mouth that he wraps on his nose, it keeps it all clean. Thanks for joining in and join us next week at 11 on Wednesday for another live show. Bye. Good boy. <laughs>